sometimes in our app, what we want to do is we want to save sort of single values, um, values that they're only going to be sort of single instances of that will need to um, that the app will need to do its work. So it could be things like um, let's say there was something like a percentage increase or um, a particular name or a particular value. And you knew it was just going to, only ever going to be one of those values. So it wasn't going to be something where there were going to be multiple instances of them. There was just some sort of something like a setting that you would use in your app. I think um, I've got a little example here in Access. What we could do is we could say, say you had a theme for your app. It was like a light theme or dark theme, or you had some sort of process date um, when actions would occur. And you need those, those values for the app to do its work. Now, um, Bendix doesn't really offer a way for us to sort of save and manipulate single values. Its entire um, focus is on saving data in databases, and that means rows, tables, multiple values. But we can make Mendix work like this by using a combination of the domain model and microflows. Now the hint on how we do this is actually here in this sort of screen of access. What we can do is we can set up a entity in um, Mendix, think entity, think table in Mendix, and we can restrict it so that only ever one row of the table actually is used. And what we can do then is in that single row of the table, we can have values that we need that are going to be make up those sort of single values, those settings or things that we will use. Now, the way that we do that in Mendix is we'll create something in the domain model, but then to actually sort of really tightly restrict the fact that we'll only ever be using the first row of the table, we'll use a microflow.